What is up guys? Today's episode for you is gonna be a little different because we are going on a road trip. On a We're going road on a road trip! Road trip! The boys and I have been given three categories to choose products within comfort, entertainment, and pit stop. This is gonna be a dope or die episode. If you don't know what that is, we're gonna rate each other's products, either a dope or a nope. If the majority is a nope, you lose a life. Whoever loses the most lives doesn't get to participate in the very secret excursion booked for us at the end of the road trip. Wow. All right, let's hop in the van and get started. The first category is comfort. Oh, this one's sick, guys. So I picked out the ZZ Band. So the ZZ Band is all about strapping your head down so it doesn't like roll over. Like, imagine this, Woods. Okay. I fall asleep and then I fall asleep on you. Would you like that or would that be annoying? Uh, oh, look, he smiled. Yeah, I don't know. It might be like, probably not. I probably hate it, dude. <laughs> Bro, it looks like you're going in for a lobotomy or something. <laughs> you're getting an electroshock. What is wrong with her? But the problem is, like, do you want to sleep with your head up or do you, like, actually prefer sleeping with your head down? Can you strap your head down? Like you're on like a worker's table or something? Operate on me. It's 18 bucks. It's got three and a half stars here. Very thin, not for me. Should have some more fabric for sure. Thought this might be a great product unless you were five foot eight or less. Oh, it's not for short kings is what he's saying. Yeah, so that's not gonna work for me. Rest in peace, Matt and Woods. I don't know, man. I'm saying add to cart. All right. Okay. Thanks, UPS. Oh, you rock, dude. Here we go, guys. Oh. Okay, so I have to put it on like this. This is like slanted, bro. Okay, so I know what I have to do, but I'm not sure if I have the strength to do it. <laughs> Why? What's with the nose? Why would it cover your nose? No, it's got two of those things, so it covers your eyes. Oh, <laughs> that makes way more sense. Oh, this is so hot, bro. I'm encountering a problem. The problem is if you look at this headrest, it's slanted forward. So no matter what I do, it's just gonna uh, hit me in the back of the head. So I'm gonna try and put it way back down here. <laughs> That's not comfortable. <laughs> but if it was like more like this. Oh, there you go. What? Doesn't do What's anything. the point of it? There's a tremendous amount of pressure on my on my forehead right now. And it's so hot. Holy cow. That's a terrible idea. I have to love this though. <laughs> Here's what's up though. You have unruly kids. You put them in car prison. Time out. Time out. Yeah, they're not allowed to see, right? In my house, timeouts are real, right? You're not allowed to feel, see, hear, touch, or anything. You go into like a tank of water, right? <laughs> you are like Papa! Putting their senses on yeah, timeout, bro? They're, they're all their senses <laughs> They can't experience yeah. reality, dude. Exactly. <laughs> I think that's a nope, bro. I think you're gonna have to lose a life for that one. Matt even talked himself into a nope and then realized it had to be a dope, and then he tried to change it. Next product. Right now we have the noggle. I've been hyping this up because I'm very, very, very excited. It's the noggle making the back seat cool again. You attach it to a vent in the front seat and you get a snake that blows and you can point it anywhere in the back seat to your own face. The ultimate comfort system for the car, a must have for parents and or people who maybe one day will be parents. This is such a dope idea. Just a hose, dude. Just go to Lowe's and get a hose. Dude, you don't get it. Am I right? Dude, don't be an anti noggleist Yeah, I just got a McDonald's, I got a McDonald's ad. Wow. <laughs> Has the McDonald's? I app, hate waiting bro. in drive-throughs when I go to McDonald's, so I would get the app and order ahead. McDonald's is the road trip staple. Should we stop? I got an app. So I got a notification, bro. We were just razzing you, but now we're both like McDonald's. Now the whole car stops. Hard to install in my car, but works great. Awesome game changer. Jessica said game changer. Let's go ahead and check out my noggle. Guys, look at my noggle. This looks like an as seen on TV product that actually popped off. <laughs> Boom. Noggle unlocked. Bro, where are you gonna put that? It's huge. I'm gonna put it over on my little vent for my noggles. Bro, there are literally eight steps. So Sam's definitely struggling up there. Oh, what? what's Let's go. Got my little noggle with me right here. Oh, oh it's it blowing place. so She's well. just holding it in place. She's not actually, because she we could actually, actually it. set it up. I, this is a rental car. I didn't want to put zip ties in the vents. Yes. This is more powerful than my actual <laughs> vent. This is literally the coolest thing ever. And look, it's just this giant black hose. This anaconda body going all the way to the back seat, bro. It's just a sacrifice. Just the front person doesn't get any air then. Just direct airflow from the strongest vent up there. Matt's trying to kill me and I don't don't respect it. I wasn't trying to kill Matt. Matt killed himself in the beginning <laughs> and then he got mad. That's not bad. I just like not messing. I definitely wouldn't zip tie my, my vents. I think I would give it a note. I would not use this. Does it provide comfort for you? Yes. I know it would provide comfort for 
for me. Two out of three say it's a dope, so it's a dope. Yeah, I just, like, I legit wouldn't take that home. Okay, we got a $50 hoodie pillow. So I use these pillows a lot. I use them when driving and sometimes when I fly. Oh, yeah? Yeah, sometimes you, they work. You use them while you're driving? Yeah, absolutely. It's better for your neck posture. I'm a nap connoisseur, and this is the best pillow I've ever bought. I don't think I want things over my face. I don't think you have to, though. No, I think you're supposed to wear it like a hood. All right, let's go ahead and add to cart. Ah! Dude, that looks so comfy. That's really squished in there. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, you can. Oh, you oh. can literally just like, good night. That is tight. Actually, this blocks out a lot of light. You guys want to try it? Yeah. Here, try. Yeah, okay. Yeah, not bad. Again, a little hot, but if I had the nodge all. Oh! <laughs> Yo, this is a game changer, bro. I look like I'm being transported in a cart like to a medieval times fair thing. Oh. And then if I go like this, I look like I'm being kidnapped and being sold on the black market. This is nice though, I think it's a cool little pickup. Yeah. Matt, what do you think? I'll say dope. I think it's dope too. I'll say dope, yeah. This is like kind of stylish too, which is interesting. The next round, we're gonna be looking at entertainment products. So products that are gonna keep us vibey throughout our road trip. They gotta vibe us, they gotta entertain us, they gotta make us happy. Let's look at the first one. All right, so check this out. The backbone, but you might have all seen it, but this one is PlayStation Edition, which is pretty sick. Wait, what's inside of that? That's PS Remote Play. So this is actually designed so that you can do remote play. What I like is they made it with PlayStation. It's not like a third party, like someone yeah. just made some janky thing. Like yeah. PlayStation gave it the pass. Yeah. They said, hey, this is good enough that we'll put our own name on it. The thing that's most impressive to me is that like whenever you get any sort of like controller for your iPhone, it's a pain, right? Like you gotta go find the app and you gotta plug it in. You gotta make sure it syncs and everything like that. But this thing, when you plug in, a button on it takes you in, into the gaming experience immediately. I'm gonna do two of these puppies. Okay, maybe look at one For one here. of my other gaming boys at, by now. Oh, thanks, UPS. Yes. <laughs> All right, so Woods, I have just the standard backbone. This one is not PlayStation branded. It's packaged very well, I must say. Yeah, looks nice. Boom, look at that. It's got like a matte finish on it. The joystick's remarkably good, I will say. The D-pad feels pretty good too. I feel like the D-pad feels like it might wear out after a bit of time, but it honestly feels good though for just right out of the package. Check this one out. Oh, that's clean. Oh, look at that. The that PS5 buttons. That is it, bro. That's, that's what clean. I was looking for. It's like, this is solid, bro. This is really solid. Wow. They actually kind of tried to replicate the PS5 triggers just a little bit, which is interesting. My problem with this one, completely solved in this version. I'm gonna literally just snap this in. You could just throw that puppy in like that and it immediately opened the app. I'm like already running in Minecraft, already breaking trees down. I don't sure. like mobile gaming and I've seen all the attachments and stuff and they never really like spark my interest, but these actually do spark my interest. It doesn't feel like a phone. It, exactly, it literally takes away the fact that you're using a phone. All right, so what do you guys think? This specifically one, I mean, they're both almost identical, but this one's so clean looking. Yeah, this would be like dope. That's like dope. That's like a game changer for sure. It's a dope. It's a dope. dope. Next product. Yep. Where we're going. So we're going north. I originally thought Santa Barbara, but Santa Barbara is only like two hours away and we're going like two and a half. So we're not going to the zoo. We're going to that Dutch town. Are we going to Solvang? That's where I think we're going. I think Woods is right. All right, everybody. I have the DD Auto 12.4 inch Android 10 car headrest video player with 2.4 G's or 5G Wi-Fi TV monitor touchscreen. This thing's sick, all right? It's like an iPad, but you put it on the thing and it's like almost, it's almost like a smart TV. Yeah, and you can sync them with multiples. So if we had like multiple headrests we wanted to sync up, you can sync them all together. Fortunately, we don't need to do that. We only need one, but you could do it with multiples if you'd like. I talked through all the details. I wanna see what people have to say about it now. If I have two screens and I screencast screen, one can I sync to screen two via cable or so? And someone said yes. <laughs> Everyone seems to be liking, except for this person said, not with the money, 2011 software and no upgrades. This person just discovered Android. Yeah, everything yeah, Android just, essentially you... is 2011 software. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna add to cart. Oh, it's here. Let's get this thing unboxed. This is what the screen looks like, my homies. Oh, look at that. My fellow G's. Comes with tons of wires and I see composite, which is not a good start. Oh my gosh. So there's so many old cables they have here. We have composite. We have legit like speaker cables in here. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, so Android, this is taking forever. Yeah, it's like an Android. <laughs> Guys, buy an iPhone. Oh wait, this is my product. Guys, this is so lit, dude. So lit. 
I love Android. My favorite thing about Android is that every time is a challenge. It's like a team edge challenge every time you wanna like start something up. Oh, it, it started up. That maybe took 10 minutes. <laughs> it only took our whole car ride. So there's no files on this one right now. How do we go back? Do I swipe up? This is unnecessarily complicated. Hey! Look at my phone, but don't look at my phone. We got it working. You know what we're turning on, right team? Seinfeld. Oh. It crashed. <laughs> in order to get this to work in an interesting way, you either have to bring something that you could hook up through HDMI, yeah. which I'd rather just use my phone or an iPad anyways. Maybe this is a cheap substitute and you could download things and put it in there. In that case, maybe it's a dope. Okay, but come on, who's downloading stuff and putting it in there? There's no way, like a parent would just give their kid their phone and just say like, watch Prime. It's a nope. I'll take the L on this one, honestly, because I even I would feel guilty trying to give us a dope, so. All right, well, yeah. next product. Bummer. This is my RG300 handheld game console, retro game console with open Linux system built in. So I don't have a PS5. And I also don't like playing games on my phone. There's also something like nostalgic about playing like an old Game Boy style. Yeah, kind of with thing. the buttons and everything. It's just like, you know, it just hits it right back. Right back to the good it's old days. <laughs> Best retro handheld and for the money. How do they know? Have they gotten like a bunch of them? They must have. I, I've gotten a bunch of them. I've literally gotten like five or six to yep. test. Add the cart. Ah, thanks, Yoops. Oh, wow, Yoops had a great toss there. Oh! What? Why does it stink? Legit, why does it stink or smell it, bro? Oh, what does that smell? <laughs> what is that smell, dude? Feels a little smaller than a Game Boy. Maybe it's just been a while. These are all emulators. So you have to download ROMs. In other words, game files from old systems that have been uploaded to the internet. See if you can go to just the games. Yeah, I think those are actual games that came on the device. How much was this, like 60 bucks? Yeah. Oh, it's so framey. So I wouldn't recommend doing like PS1 games on this. Anything that has any sort of 3D element, this is gonna definitely get framey. So if you have like 2D side scrollers or platformers, you might wanna use it on this. Here's the other thing, it is only $60. But if you spent a little bit more money, they have devices that do the exact same thing that can enter sleep mode. The point of this device here is so you're like, you throw it in your pocket and you can use it when you wanna use it, right? Problem with this thing is that there's an on and off. So when you're done playing, you have to turn it fully off. And every time you play it, you have to reboot the device. See, I like this because- It does. It does? It does a sleep mode. That's awesome. So now I'm like playing, you can see I'm playing here, right? If I hold this, if I tap that again, uh-oh. So the game's playing, but the screen's not on. Yeah. Close. Close. So close. See, I'm not necessarily worried about like saving my games. This is more so like a quick fix while you guys are like playing on your like literal consoles, you know. <laughs> this is just a quick something to do. Yes. This is a weird in between, which is why I'm gonna probably give it a note. I'm gonna give it a note because not for not that much more money, you can get a better one. Yeah, and then I honestly just feel like it's not a dope, so it has to be a note. Roll down the window, Sam. <laughs> So we finished round two and the score update is each of us have lost one life. So we're heading into the final round, which is the pit stop round. We're gonna find a place to pull over and we're gonna go after it. We're on our pit stop here. Like every time you uh, take a road trip, you gotta do a pit stop, especially if you have kids. For my pit stop, here's what's up. Red portable outdoor gas grill. This thing looks clean, to be honest. Look at that. Um, I'm excited to eat, honestly. I'm so hungry. Yeah, I'm, and I'm glad really Mac got this. We literally stopped. Multiple restaurants turned us down. They were like, no, we don't want your kind. YouTubers, that is. So the grill itself is heat retaining porcelain enameled cast iron powered by 9,000 BTU stainless steel burner. Dude, that's 9,000 BTUs, dude. That's literally a thousand more BTUs than you've ever tasted. Our designers recommend it. Well, of course they do, they designed it. So you wanna get this grill and cook for me is what you're talking I wanna about. cook for you. I'll cook for you too. Do you like hot dogs? Excuse me, we're shooting a very important YouTube review. Yeah, our pit stop includes essentially a lot of trucks and rich people driving rich cars. We have like four Ferraris yeah, sitting right in front cars. of us. We picked quite the pit hey, stop. Let's add to cart. Get it. Add to cart. Okay, check this out. Look at this chair. That is Tell me that's not so nice, especially the best right now chair. with the sun beating down on us. <laughs> that's a that's a good chair, right? Oh, dude, it's getting hot too. It's getting so hot, right? And there's no shade in sight. Don't don't pan don't pan to that. I got this chair for camping and it was so easy to get in and out in the bag and unfold and fold. It's really sturdy and I love the side pocket for my phone. Hey, that's pretty cool. So add to cart. Oh baby, it's a twofer. Oh, they're gonna unbox that first, I yeah, guess. Yeah, let's do this first so that I can grill sitting down. 
Did you see that? I accidentally did it. Yeah, get that umbrella up. Dude, this is so sick. Is it comfy? It's remarkably comfy. Oh, and it's cooling. Look, look at this. Oh, so, it's a cooler? It's a cooler, so you can put ice in here. Oh, that's not just a phone pocket if no. you want. Boom, boom, cooler, pull out your babido. That oh, means you put in ice in there? Oh, look, there is a phone pouch right here. And a, look, I can open a beer. Bottle opener? This looks like such a matte product. I hate how much Matt looks like he uses this. So let's take a peek at this guy, right? Cutting board with it. That's sick. Let's just get it going, dude. Let's get some wieners on that thing or I'll get the propane. Oh, look at that, little legs. Is it hot? Yeah, it's hot. Oh yeah, it's working. Okay, well, let's cook. All right, Matt, so you're gonna make me some weenies, right? Yeah, I'm gonna make you some weenies. Oh, we got all sorts of goodies and supplies here. Who wants a hot dog? Me, I'll take Everyone one. wants a hot dog, look have, at that. Do we have mustard? I'm curious what these businesses are gonna think because we went to these businesses and asked for food and they're like, no, and now we're just making our own. <laughs> right across the street from yeah, them. Really like competition. Oh, the sound of meat cooking gets me jostled. This is nice. Yeah, this is really nice. Okay, Tanner. Tanner, you want this on it? Uh, jalapenos, mustard, and ketchup, please. Okay, Tanner, here you go. All right, Matt. Mmm, that's good. This is a definite dope. Oh, absolutely. But I need to eat it in my chair. Not only was Matt's product a dope, it also saved the trip. We wouldn't have been able to even eat lunch unless Matt had this product. Next product. All right, so this is my product, but I got two different things, okay? One is to practice short game. So it looks like it comes with three little Callaway golf balls and you have a little mat you can hit off of, which is pretty cool. It comes teed with a mini tee and you get to just try and aim it inside of the hole. What if you miss, bro? Well, you're gonna do it from so short that you won't really miss and do damage. Bet I can miss. Oh, I know you'll miss. It's for <laughs> practicing. That's to practice short game, but I think what we're gonna have more fun doing is practicing the long game, which is winter spirit, real swing, 300, golf swing and hitter trainer. It's it's pretty much a golf ball on a stick. You hit it, it spins really fast on it, rotates. What I like about this is you can see your swing pad. So if you're hitting it from outside in or inside out. Oh, it out, does this? You'll see the divot. Yeah, exactly. I'm excited for this. I think this is something I love to just fidget swing. And like, I always carry like a little golf around swing it. TVH, I thought hit. you'd like to putt more. No, I hate putting. I'm terrible at putting. All I know is this Korean dramatic review literally said, you will not be disappointed. Wow, in caps. all caps. I'm gonna add both of these to cart. We're gonna get to smack. So this is the little, this is a little pitcher here. Here's the problem. These balls are foam balls, not real balls. It means I have wind blowing at me and these don't have as much weight to go through the wind. Bro, so, wait, hold up. You're for real gonna hit that circle. Right now, probably not because there's too much wind blowing at me. So it's gonna blow the ball up, but I'm gonna try. We're gonna see. That one had some cheddar on it. Oh, that's a bouncy ball. Yeah, that's what I was saying. They're foam balls, they're not real. <gasps> that was so close, bro. You're shocked. I'm proud of you. Thanks, man. This might be easier from a little bit farther away. You can do it! What? You can't do it! <laughs> I'm hitting these things really far. This is fun. I would replace this with real golf balls. What are you hitting? This, this is the dope. Orange golf balls, not as easy, but. It's still dope. It's all right, it's not like anything crazy. Wait, let me see, let me see. I haven't tried it, so maybe it's more fun. Here you go, give it a little try. If I hit this, if I even hit that at all, it's an immediate dope for me. Okay, that'd be good for me. Oh, he almost made it! I almost made that is, dude. That was like a frozen so roll. So it's a though. dope? It's a dope for me, that was fun. I can see how this could get addicting. So but this, what's, what problem this solves is there's not a lot of places you can really get a good full swing on a golf ball, right? Besides being at the course, this gives you that portability to get full swings of a golf ball anywhere you want to go, right? That's where this hits. And there's nothing more satisfying than hitting a golf ball, in my opinion. All right, here we got a pitching wedge, and we're just going to give it a nice little smack. And done. That's pretty good. Hold the finish. Let me try. You want to try and hit it? Yeah. Dude, do you want to use the big club or the little club? I'm going to get this going. Oh, dang. All right, don't let go of that thing now. I don't know how to play golf. Line it up with your front heel and widen your stance. Hold, hold the club. That was nice, dude. That was good? Yeah, great swing. Natural. Well, it's almost like you should call it a dope, dude. I actually really like this thing. It's fun, dude. You just walk up, you just like, hey, settle down, little ball. Get a little loose with it. You gotta loosen your body. And then you just really just hit it like that. And it feels good. That's dope. That's more dope than a lot. I give it a dope. I wonder if they have one that's like attached to uh, like a retractable line that when you can back. like hit and then you press a button in it. Back. Woods just came up with an invention. Someone make it, we'll review it. Next product. Okay, check this thing out. This is a travel guitar. So, what are you laughing at? This is so Woods. It's gonna sound like poop, dude. Is it like in key like a normal guitar? Bro, that's $329? Yeah. Is it an electric guitar? It's electric. Okay, so you have to, did you get an amp? We'll get that as well. Let's add it to cart. This is a, just a little, you know, 
little drone, a little micro drone. Just to get out of the car and like do something where you're not like sitting there in the sun. So we're gonna add this to cart. It's incredible that they can make a drone for 30 bucks. Right? UPS! Oh, dang! Thank you. So we've got our drone here. Oh, UPS dropped it all off. Is that a little amp? It is. That's cute. Yeah. We're gonna pop open our drone first. Got all your charging cables and such. Is that a drone? <laughs> Dude, it's hot. <laughs> it's so hot. My life force is depleting. There you go. This kid doesn't know how to fly drones. Give me two seconds to react. <laughs> he got all nervous. Oh, that looks like it has decent control. Oh, he's spinning it. Now bring it back. Bring it back home, daddy-o. Watch out for the Ferraris. He's lost it. He actually lost it. The breeze is literally going to that car. <laughs> yeah, so here's the thing. That's an indoor drone, bro. That's not an outdoor drone. It's way too tiny. Anywhere you road trip is gonna be windy. Yeah. You have to assume it at least. We just wanted an excuse to fly a drone and I get it. You think Woods' fascination with drones will ever die? Like I've seen a couple drones and I was like, I'm good. He lost it again. He literally lost it again. He just had to grab it. It's quite a Woods moment. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you straight. This is a dope product, but it's not dope for road trips. Both times you tried to fly it, it literally got away from you. And there's barely a breeze. If there was more of a breeze, I was praying for it because yeah. it's so hot. Imagine 15 mile an hour winds. It would just ruin that. This next one though. <laughs> this might be pretty cool. Watch this kid just show up to every party with this on his back. Yeah, this is such a woods move, yeah. Bro. That is sick. That is, that is clean. What? I'm gonna be honest that with you. That's so really clean. wet looking at that. Wait. I could tell you did not mean to say that. I'm gonna say like wet my whistle or something. <laughs> yeah. And then I put Willie in. <laughs> there you go. If I was named Woods, then I would go into the store. I would go buy some book and shelf, and now I want some merch. Then I went to get ice cream cones, cause I am really hot. And that's when I fell down the street and passed out in my car. <laughs> Dope, dude. Oh that's my pretty cool. goodness. It's so light. Yeah. It's so light, bro. Alabama Woods, my home. Until I made out with that gnome. <laughs> <laughs> we made out with who? A gnome. <laughs> That's a dope. Dope. I give it a dope. All right, guys, score update. After score update. We've done all three rounds. Woods has become the biggest <laughs> loser. Woods got the most deaths. You were the only one that got a nope on the final round. Oh! I almost did, but then Matt hit my product, and that's he said that gave it a dope. Where are we going? <laughs> What's a side by side? It's, it's like a it's like a rhino. What's a rhino? Oh, it's like a four wheeler with a steering wheel on it. What's a four wheeler with a steering wheel? It's like on a it. car but tiny in <gasps> Oh no, no Woods. Woods. That sucks so bad for you, bro. Woods has gone on a three hour long escapade plus just to watch us ride on side by side. Oh man, life is beautiful. Alright guys, cut to us having fun, yeah. except for Woods. <laughs> Guys, we're here at the beach. It's time for us to ride our sweet, sweet, sweet side by side on this beautiful sand. Yeah, these don't even look that fast, there. dude. So I'll just be over here yep. skipping stones. I am excited. It's time to ride. Where have your ride? We got handles. It's a V17. It's a V17. It goes fast. Woods, what do you think? It's cool if you're um, not looking to have fun. <laughs> okay. I'm not intimidated at all. Yeah, that, that didn't seem intimidating. Not at all. I think we go with that there. Yeah. I think we can go that way too, maybe. Okay, so here we go. First off, we took a bus all the way here, and they're warning us a thousand ways you can die, and that just took the fun straight out. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm having fun! <laughs> We're gonna enjoy whatever time we have with them. Same. They're laughing at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, laughing. they're laughing at you. That's funny, haha. <laughs> oh, I'm just happy to be here. We just gotta go fast, and we gotta make sure we don't fall. Those are the biggest things. But it is a cool experience. You're out by the lake or by the ocean, riding on a cool little four-wheeler. Whoa! Oh, dude. 
<laughs> Dude, they really creep up on These you, bro. These are steep, bro. They're steep. They're so steep. Oh! <laughs> oh, dude, that's so steep. It's so steep. Mega steep. Oh, dude. The sand? Oh. <laughs> yeah! There it is. This is not how I expected today to go. I'm glad Woods <laughs> isn't allowed to be a part of it. <laughs> Woods would have too much fun with this. <laughs> I'd say this is a dope. Uh, it's a dope. It's super dope. It's cold. Thanks for watching this episode <laughs> of Dope Running Up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out that video. That right there is a video YouTube recommends. Check out that video right there. We bought anything we wanted as long as it was one emotion. So go check that out. One check emotion. out both of them. Mine was the best emotion. See you guys next time.